Our products are the key to a sustainable future mobility. To make this work, all stages of the value chain must collaborate. I would like to highlight three important areas. The first is sustainable product development. The second, sustainable purchasing. And the third is sustainable production. Let's take a closer look at them. First, sustainable product development includes the systematic selection of sustainable materials and the avoidance of problematic ones. An example of this is our newly developed I2SM electric motor, which achieves great performance rates without containing any permanent magnets. With this solution, rare earth metals, which are very costly to extract and often have challenging supply chains, can be avoided altogether. It's equally important to plan the whole product life cycle, right from the design stage to the end of life. Reusing the product or refurbishing it is much more sustainable than recycling the materials, which is often quite energy intensive. We have 20 specialized plants at ZF in which products are remanufactured to live a second life in a as good as new quality. This remanufacturing is a growth business for us on the way to a circular economy. Let's move on to purchasing. As a tier one supplier, we are, in the eyes of our customers, the gateway to the supply chain. The collaboration with our suppliers is crucial to achieve a sustainable end product. The business partner code of conduct, which we recently revised, defines the foundations for this. In terms of climate and nature, human rights and compliance. Since 2022, our bid conditions have also included expectations for suppliers regarding decarbonization, energy use, carbon footprint, as well as compliance with social and ethical standards. And with the ZF sustainability score, we also introduced a binding award criterion in 2023 that evaluates the sustainability performance of our suppliers. If suppliers do not achieve the required minimum score, they are not considered in the bidding process. In this way, sustainability is systematically integrated into the decision-making within purchasing. The third and final point is that our own production must also be geared towards sustainability. Among other things, this involves conserving water, electricity and heat. Recently, we have decided to move up our goal of using 100% renewable electricity in all ZF plants by five years, from 2030 to 2025. We are currently demonstrating how an existing production plant can be trimmed for maximum energy efficiency at our Czech location in Klasteretz. This plant produces components for electromobility. The plant's own solar modules supply 20% of its electricity requirements. The remaining energy comes from renewables. Heat pumps are used for heating and cooling, while building insulation and heat recovery also significantly improve the energy balance. This plant serves as our blueprint for the transformation of all ZF plants in the years to come. These are just a few examples of how ZF drives sustainability.